What, the breast mouth style? Yeah. Oh. It probably is style. They hardly have anything left. Oh, wow. You see how they changed the packaging up on this one? It's a... It's the big old honey weed. <laughs> they changed the packaging. It smell like something over here. She said it smell like stale bread. Come on, Dante. But they hardly have any bread. Um, yeah. Hey, fam. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are in. Ooh, that's something new. We are in Walmart for our weekly Walmart walkthrough. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moment Hair. Walmart. 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 Uh, so make sure you guys check in. Let us know where you are watching from. So I'm already inside of Walmart, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the shelves are looking like. We came here last week, and it was it was okay. It looked it okay. It looked okay. Um, but this week, as I was walking in, I'm walking through the produce, and I'm like, they look a little bare. Um, but I wasn't gonna record today. I wasn't in the mood for recording. And then something said, pick up that phone and record. And I'm wondering why. So let's see exactly what it is what we're gonna see. So it seems as if Antonams actually have a new ice cream here. So as the Antonams, they have their own chocolate chip and brownie cookie and a chocolate glazed cookie donut. Now that sounds interesting. Both of them are $4.96. As far as the breakfast sandwiches, now those are looking pretty, pretty light. We're going straight, Dante. Um, those, I don't have my older nephew with me today. I have my eight-year-old and he does not know how to control this car at all. Um, but yeah, the breakfast section is looking much, much lighter. Let's see if the Jimmy Dean is still ten dollars in chain. I know these sandwiches done jumped up to eleven dollars and sixty-two. See, I remember when they was nine ninety-eight. Then they was ten dollars in change. Now they're eleven sixty-two. But people, they still bought them up. They buy them, buy them, buy them. They don't have the sausage biscuits and over here want it. The freezer section as well. Oh my. Um. Here's yes, They did have chicken nuggets and things like that last week as well. Like they had way, 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 way more than what they have this week. So I'm starting to see the gaps. Um, with that, which is kind of strange, being that it is summertime. But then again, we do have to take a few things into consideration. And the main one of them is summer have started for some children um, here in New Jersey. Some people let last week be the last week for their kids to go to school because I know in charter schools next week is like all half a days. Um the French fries back to being low, 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 low till it's almost none. Yep, seven dollars and eighty four cent. I remember when y'all used to be like five dollars in change. I know they're seven dollars and eighty four cents now for the three pound bag. They don't have that big old thing of rice anymore, but this rice is still coming in at 1998. Remember when this rice, 20 pound bag here, actually was coming in only at um oh it's like ten dollars and change or something like that. But yeah, it's a whopping 1998 now. The meat section is looking a little, little bit light. Um, you do see the gaps, but wait till I turn around and show you guys what's next. Um, if you are new here and you have not subscribed already and you want to become part of the family and you enjoy weekly updates at Walmart now, it's a great time to subscribe. <laughs> now is a great time to subscribe. We'd love to have you along, take you on this adventure. Um, but yeah, this is their beef section this week. So I always come to Walmart and I definitely always check on the rice, being that rice have been a big issue. But last week, they actually had rice available. But this week, guys, now this is ridiculous. This is why I constantly push and tell people, like, get your, get your starches, get your rice, get your grains, get all of that stuff. Because it would go empty again before the price actually jumped. Because when they bring the stuff back on the shelves, best believe they're bringing it back with a new price tag. So, there it is. There's hardly any rice left today. Um, <laughs> yeah, but isn't this something? So, we have seen a rice shortage before. Like I said, kids are getting out of school for the summertime. That could be it. But even with that, really do this many people not already have rice in their houses? Um, for them to come and technically wipe out the shells, um, you know, it could be plenty of reason. Maybe they didn't get a shipment yet 
234 now. Y'all remember when this used to be a dollar and change too? Um, those are very convenient, by the way. I used to always make those once I got put onto those, but then they became too expensive. And I think almost everything that I have in my stockpile of these, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through them and just finish focusing on. Yeah, it's really noisy in here today, focusing on regular rice. Um, what happens is with these, if you don't package them correctly, and let's say they get a little hole in them or whatever the case may be, if they're exposed to any high temperatures, the packaging would swell up. So be careful if you are stockpiling anything like that. And one person did mention that theirs actually grew mold. So be careful, but definitely I'm surprised at this rice. I ain't got no rice really. Let's see what they do have available. They have something here for $6.72. It's the Cello Rojo. This is new short grain white rice. And it's a five pound bag for $6.72 today. So that's what they have available. Next thing that's falling short is macaroni shells, pasta, things in that uh, sort. So if you are stockpiling that, you're already ahead of the game. If you're not, definitely get you some macaroni. Us here, we're not really like, as far as my family, you want to stockpile according to what your family eat. You don't want to stockpile a whole bunch of stuff and then boom, guess what? It's going to go to waste because your family do not eat it. So definitely eat what you prep and prep what you eat. Only time we eat macaroni is if I make it homemade. Bake macaroni and that's it. These actually are pretty good. They're $1.44, but I'm going to go ahead and still get some just because at this kind here, we are running low. One, two, three, four. Let me get six here. So it's very, very busy in here um, today. I actually have another Walmart walkthrough that I did not upload yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that uploaded, but you would see this week's first before you see last. So if it looked kind of mixed up and you'd be like, hey, but the shelves were full, you know, at the other one, but you're saying that it was empty or whatever the case may be. That's just because I'm uploading this one video first. Vegetables are very low today, very picked over today. And if you guys did not know, Great Value Vegetables did jump up in price already, but I did mention that already. So for, if you are new here and you don't know, yes, get your stuff. Um, and you don't know, yes, Great Value Vegetables did jump up in price. So they went from 50 cents to 58 cents to now 64 cents. And I'm hearing that it's supposed to be some type of corn shortage, but we'll see what happens with that. Look out for it. It's a little crowded up in here, but the pasta is definitely. I really don't know what's going on. It can't just because it cannot just be because old kids are getting out of school. Um, I'm not sure if there's a holiday coming up or not. Oh wow, look what noodles they have here. They have the Rails homemade. Linguini noodles. Now that's new, but for 16 ounces, it is two dollars and 48 cents. It's new, but it can stay where it's at. That's pricey for some pasta. I mean, you're talking about shortages. They were seeing major, major shortages today. So when it comes down to the salt, hardly any, but they do have the great value salt over here for 64 cents. They have about four boxes there in total. Because I thought you was looking for me as far as the flour and the sugar. Definitely seeing some trouble in that department as well. Did you get the pickles? I don't know. Um, 224 for this five pound bag of flour here. I think it's like $13 or $8 and change for the 25 pound bag. They don't have the stickers there. It seems as if it failed. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it's $8.98. Um, for the 25 pound bag well whatever it was that was on clearance um it's all gone yeah they do have a bunch of stuff on clearance it was 524 whatever it was it's 131 now i can't see that then they have the pure vanilla here it was 644 now it's a dollar 61 so if you use that like that might want to get you some yeah, it seems they got a bunch of this uh, some of seasonings and things like that on sale. It was 943, 321. They got a bunch of these little clearance stickers going on. That ain't bad actually. Oh, there's no more left of whatever that was. Alright. I love the Kinder seasoning. They have some great seasoning, but that's not much of a sale. 498. 
That was 408. I have some other stuff here. Let me see what this is. They actually have the, no, that's something else. Great value something. They don't have anymore. Okay. They have the all spice was 194, now it's 128. All right. Let's just take a quick look at the shirt. The canned milk here too, just like ShopRite. The canned milk looks horrible. So if anybody knows what's going on with the canned milk or the canned milk is looking short in your area, let us know. The sugar as well is very, very, very low. Now, I mean, honestly, guys, this store looked really ridiculous today. Um, and there is a lot of fronting going on, but they doing what they can do to kind of keep it together. And since we are here, let's look at the oil. My mother looks like she's just upset with something. Even the um, it's good for six dollars. Hold on, <laughs> the vinegar, vinegar lasts a very, very, very long wow. time. Don't sleep on vinegar, get you some vinegar because you can use it for a whole bunch of things. Um, it's 334. Actually, find vinegar to be actually cheaper in shop, right? Um, be careful with the Splenda because I did hear something about Splenda about they found something going on with Splenda. I'm gonna put the article right here so we're not lost and I won't be telling y'all some crap and I done mixed it up with something else. But I did hear something about Splenda. Um, be careful with that. Um, yeah, or you, this week also is low. It's still coming in at $8.58 for the great value. But it's still very low. Come on, Dante. Now y'all know this mega size is the old family size and the family size is the old regular size and the regular size has completely actually disappeared um unless you go to like a regular supermarket and then they sell these tiny tiny boxes that's the new regular size but shrinkflation that's all it really is though guys that's it i think this was like the regular size box yeah Yeah, Walmart is actually having a whole bunch of these clearance items, but it's down the aisle rather than being on the rack. Um, so make sure y'all check out Walmart and walk down them aisles because they might be getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff to bring in some new Wait, stuff. And that's when they might just mark the price up. Oh, I came here specifically for, but I don't need that milk for milk but they don't have any they have some sitting in the crates but it doesn't look like they have anybody to stock it I said they look like they're doing the best that they can um well but they don't have the actual milk that I'm looking for so it's all right oh the butter section even looks horrible I mean really horrible Yes. Which one? No, nah, that's been it. That's like a dark something. It's called um, two forty four for the almond milk. Um, eggs are even low, 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 low. Same thing here. So hardly any. Well, they have eggs, but it's low milk, low butter, low. I'm gonna call the large eggs. That it go right there. They down to ninety seven cents for the large eggs here. All right now. Orange juice, same thing here. Low. Let's get two of these. You guys, to fight any addiction is something that's real. Ever since I tried this, I've been addicted to it. And I've been spending $4.92 on it. And I'm out. Like, I'm completely out at home. What should I do? I'm going to get some. Yeah, they don't. Mm -hmm. What's this, Walmart? I thought they had it like way back there. Nah, he said it's in the front. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. As much as I come to Walmart, and I didn't even know where the fresh mozzarella cheese was at, but somebody did just tell me where it was at. The cheese is low as well. This bag used to be like a dollar and change. These small little two cups here. Two twenty two. It's the same thing at my shop right though. It's like two dollars and change now. Cheese overall. This car is broke. Always get the broke cords. This looks like a cute little gift box for a dog. It comes with a dog toy and some grain free dog food here and some treats. And it's called Jinx. Um, whoever Chris Evans and Dodger is, I guess this is Dodger, but 
Hmm. Available at Walmart only, huh? All right, Jinx. Make it look real appealing. Make you want to buy it. Cat food looks okay. Wet cat food is still at 78 cents. Um, overall, it looks okay. Someone did mention that they are starting to see shortages with their wet cat food again. So, I guess I'll be on the lookout for that as well. Oh, wow. Hardly any wipes here. Um, and guess what, y'all? They had a nerve. They put the little security lifters. I guess, I guess the baby items are now one of them high theft items because that's the only time that they would actually do this. Oops. Next, it would actually be to the point where you would have to call an employee over and they would have to unlock the, the doors for you to get it. Same way they did with the air fresheners here. So, hot theft items, guys. Baby products, they are expensive, aren't they? Even with the toys, they got these little toys rolled back as well. Um, on Clarence, actually, $16.88, now it's eleven fifty. But y'all, my two-year-old, she's been working my last. I'm not going to lie to you guys. She's been working me, but you know she's two. It's expected. Um, but yeah, she's definitely she's been working me, working me, working me. But I'm down here and I'm looking at toys. She's not with me to the baby, and he has my. Because I said, listen, not today. She can't come today. Any other day, but not today. But I'm here and I'm in the toy aisle and I'm looking for something for her though. <laughs> so that's how that works. The yellow stickers are like all throughout the store, so it really doesn't leave much to be put in the clearance aisle. Um, I guess people aren't buying as much, so they have no choice but to mark this stuff down. Maybe the stuff will actually be marked down even lower, you know, but I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think people are buying as much, so a lot of stuff is being put on clearance. They actually, I don't know. I'm not no bird specialist. I have no idea. Um, they do actually now have plants available. Every time I get basil, my basil die. My basil be dying. I don't know why, but it do. It be dying. 497 though. I should try again, right? Look for a good one though. Every time I be trying, they be dying. I don't know. They don't have these on clearance, so you guys let me know if you all get your herbs and stuff like that. Cause being that they are easy and what happened up in here? Somebody is stealing. Um being that oh being that um you know, these are easy to grow in-house, like herbs and stuff. Mine's always die. Let me know what you guys do to keep yours thriving and striving. This don't look too good, but it does have something in already. Oh, man, that thing flopped right down. <laughs> um, 542. Oh, my gosh. Sweet basil, too. I got a little pepper over here. I just saw it. It's mixed in with the tomato plants. I don't know. I'm out of here. I'm still out of here. Eggplants, eggplants, eggplants. I just saw it. I'm over here and I'm looking. I'm looking in circles because it ain't that big out here. I'm looking in circles like, where is they clearing so hard? And it's all the way over here in the cut. Um, but from the looks of it, don't look like they have much of anything. And everything that's anything do look pretty dried out. So, and it's $4. It was $4.88. So we're only saying, saving 88 cents. This looks like it could have been cute if it wasn't so dead. Yeah, but that's that. Oh, if you are a griller, you're a person that grill, what is your favorite seasoning? Don't forget to check out the grilling section at Walmart. They be having some nice seasonings. Um, I don't even be grilling. I be using this stuff on my regular food. This say onion butter. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Onion butter. Mm. They got something here called maple bacon, onion butter seasonings, honey, garlic. 497 though y'all 
Listen. Hot, honey. Okay. That look good. I said it looks good. Because it do. It looks flavorful. So, we are finished. I'm actually about to go in line. I wonder if they're doing a the single file line still. And another Walmart that I did go to, we didn't have to file a single file line. We just got on any line. But actually, it's clear today. Everyone is actually still shopping because the store is packed. So, pretty clear. All right, fam. We are wrapping our Walmart trip up. Hopefully, you all enjoy coming along with me to Walmart this week oh my god it looks so shameful this week let me know if you guys stores have been looking like our stores i cannot make this stuff up the stuff i see in my parts of new jersey in these stores is just quite ridiculous so hopefully you all are still stocking up because this can be your store at any given point so until next video like i said if you guys enjoyed today's video and you are new here please go ahead and consider subscribing if you've been here before thank you thank you thank you so much for coming back this is shauna and i'm officially checking out from moments with us make sure that you all stay prepped stay blessed and stay safe most of all remain beautiful queens and kings hopefully you all are doing well and will continue to do well guess what i'm out peace